Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric, and on today's video, I'll be doing a review of the Samsung HMX F80 digital camcorder. So here is the camcorder. Now opening up, you'll see the screen, which is not touch screen. So you have a record button right here, your zoom toggle, and also a menu button. Over here you have some other buttons including a smart auto mode. So basically if you're kind of lazy and don't feel like setting up this camcorder, just put it in a smart auto mode and you should get pretty decent pictures. Over here you have all your inputs. You have the SD card slot right there. You also have a mini HDMI and AV and also a USB. Right here you have the battery to the camcorder and there also is an indicator light depending upon what mode you're in and you can switch the mode right here. Also there is a zoom toggle, the power button is right there and this is a photo button. On this side there is nothing besides the strap, oh also there is the record button right there. And on this side there also is the lens switch, so the lens does not open up automatically, you have to manually flip it open and closed. So really that is all within the camera. There also is the uh, tripod mount right there, which is kind of at an odd place. It should be in the center, but it's kind of off to the side, which is going to look weird on a tripod. Anyway, that is the camera. Overall, the build quality of this camcorder is pretty good. Of course, it still is plastic, so it does feel cheap in a few areas, but it still is a very firm camcorder. And now talking about the design, the design is pretty good. I don't really have any major complaints besides the tripod mount is in the side corner. It really should be like in the middle and not in the side. I don't know why they put it there. Maybe it's a lack of room. But overall, the buttons are laid out very nicely and it does feel well in your hands. But now comes the question, how good is the video and audio quality? So let's take a look. So we're starting in my garage. The only light is what's coming through the window. So let's walk back here where it's a lot more darker. I can still see what's on the screen, but it definitely is losing its quality. But actually is a lot better than other camcorders. So now let's go outside. So this camera has a 52x optical zoom, so let's test it out. This is about halfway. Oop. And there it is all the way zoomed in. As you see, it's kind of shaky. Let's zoom back out. Sort of walking kind of fast, testing out the stabilizer, holding the camera as still as I can with two hands. Let's try doing some macro. So I'm not sure what you thought of the quality of this camcorder, but in my opinion, for 100 to 200 bucks, I think it's pretty good. Compared to the JVC camcorder, which I reviewed several months ago, the audio quality is well improved. It has a little bit of distortion here and there if you talk too loud, but still, it's way better than that JVC camcorder. Now talking about the video quality, the video quality is of course pretty good. Unfortunately, it's not 1080p, it's only 720p, which isn't full HD, but the quality still is pretty decent. The stabilizer does work, though it's not perfect, especially when you zoomed in. The autofocusing seemed to do pretty well, and actually the low light did pretty well. Of course, it wasn't amazing or anything, but definitely has been improved from other camcorders I've seen for a similar budget. But anyway, now comes the question, who is this camcorder for? This camcorder really is only for the standard person that maybe wants a camcorder just to throw in their bag in case they see anything they want to record, or maybe they're going on vacation or something like that. Now, I would not recommend this camcorder for vlogging because it's kind of annoying to hold out a camcorder and also the lens is not very wide angle. Also, I would not recommend this for photos, even though there is a photo button. Really no camcorder is designed to take photos, so you might as well just get a simple point-and-shoot camera 
like the Canon 110 HS or the S100 or something like that. Also, many point and shoot cameras do take pretty good video, so you might want to check those out as well. So anyway, though, to sum up this review, I would recommend this camcorder for the simple pricing of around 100 to 200 bucks for average users that just want to well, have a camcorder with them. So anyway, guys, that is a review of the Samsung HMX F80 digital camcorder. Please tell me in the comment section below what do you think of this camcorder, will you be getting it, etc. Anyway, though, guys, my name is Eric, and I'm signing out.